Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to give an overview on both generative AI and predictive AI, along with highlighting some of the key differences between the two. To start, we'll go over the definitions for both. There are a ton of definitions online for both generative AI and predictive AI, but in summary, generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence that generates content that is typically creative and human-like, whereas predictive AI is a type of artificial intelligence that studies historical data identifies patterns, and makes predictions about the future. For the exam, some of the key words you'll want to pay attention to is generate and creative when it comes to generative AI. And for predictive AI, look for keywords such as historical, predict, and forecast. If we move on to key differences, the two key differences that I wanted to highlight were purpose and objective and type of output. For purpose and objective, generative AI is designed to generate new content that mimics the distribution of training data. It creates outputs that are novel and original, yet plausible based on its learning. Whereas the purpose and objective of predictive AI focuses on making predictions about future events or classifying data into defined categories, its goal is not to create new data, but to infer information about existing or future data points. And as for types of output, generative AI outputs are synthetic and generated, as in they didn't exist before. For example, a generative model could create new images of faces that don't correspond to real individuals or write paragraphs of text in a certain style. I'm sure many of you are familiar with using ChatGPT, where you can enter a prompt and receive human-like interaction back. Predictive AI's output provides specific predictions or classifications based on the input data. For instance, it might predict the stock market trend for the next week or classify images containing a cat or a dog. In summary, generative AI and predictive AI are two categories within the broader field of artificial intelligence that often employ machine learning techniques to accomplish their tasks. That's all I have for this video. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.